Aloha, welcome. I'm Reverend Keith Walter, pastor of Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town in the state of Hawaii. Welcome to morning prayer for Friday, October 15th, 2021. And the reading is the 91st Psalm. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrows that fly by the day or the pestilence that stalks in the darkness or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you. No scourge come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me, I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. The word of the Lord. Epule kako. Let us pray. Rise up and come to our help, merciful God, for we are in need. Our spirits are weighed down with fear. Our bodies feel as fragile as the dust from which we came. All that we have trusted seems hidden from sight. Although this moment has come upon us, our island, our nation, our world, you have not forgotten us. We do not trust in our own power or strength, but in your steadfast love in every generation. Show us your face in this time of trial. Remind us of your faithfulness and save us, from the, save us for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now may the peace of God which passes all human understanding keep our hearts, our minds, and our bodies in Christ Jesus. Amen.